Hey babes, it's Semi here once again, and you want to welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, if you're to be here for the first time, my name is Zinia, and this channel is all about beauty, vlog, lifestyle, and most importantly, YouTube tips. So if something you're going to like, please don't forget to subscribe before you leave the channel. And if you're a YouTube subscriber, thank you for stopping by. You know Zinia loves you. You know that already. Hey guys, we're back to today's tea. So today's video is going to be how to make or film a YouTube video with your mobile phone. And trust me, this video is going to be very beginner friendly, very, very detailed and very, very understanding. So guys, I'm going to start by giving you guys the theoretical aspect before I go into the practical aspects so we can understand each other and follow each other very well. Firstly, on the importance on how to make do with what you have. Trust me, your first video is going to be your worst video. Always make it make do with what you have. If you don't have a ring light, if you don't have two ring lights, you can't even have everything at the first stage. So just make do what you have. You can face a bright uh, window, stack up your phone, and just start something. And you don't have to have the best camera. You don't have to have the best iPhone. The phone I'm using right now is far from the latest iPhone, like far from it. I don't just put that out there for you guys to understand that there's no competition. Just make do what you have. So guys, firstly, I want us to go to our phone settings. Trust me, iPhone has varieties of settings that can help or break your YouTube videos. So first thing, we're going to go to our settings. I'm going to show you guys right here where we're going to, I'm going to put that on the screen so it's very, very clear and you understand really what I'm trying to say. So when you go to your camera settings, just go to your settings, then you go to camera, search for camera, then you go to camera. So every iPhone comes with a different setting of 1080p HD at 30fps. I think that starts from iPhone X. Your iPhone 7 Plus 2 can do the same thing. Normally, I advise people not to use 4K because of storage space. So guys, I want to show you the difference of what 4K at 60 FPS will give you and what 108p HD will give you. So this one currently is the 108, 1080p HD. And so guys, this is what the 4K at 60 FPS will give you. And I'm sure that when you put that setting, you saw high efficiency. This storage is like times three of what the normal 1080p HD is going to give you. So which one do you like best? So I advise you don't run out of space immediately to use the 1080, 1080p HD. And voila, you can record a lot of videos before you start deleting and deleting. The kind thing I'm going to teach you guys on that phone settings is go to your settings once again go to your camera and put your phone on grid when you put your phone on grid it helps you to as a beginner if you're a professional then quite all right if you're someone that does like normal instagram content we use them maybe you have an idea of how to use your camera easily than a beginner but if you're a beginner i advise you to put your phone on when you go to okay let me just see how it is here so i'll explain to you guys vividly what i'm trying to talk about it just gives you a frame on how to um, take your good pictures, like your good thumbnails. Thumbnails is very key because that's one of the reasons why people tap on your videos. Thumbnail has to be top notch. So guys, tap on the grid. It just gives you this frame on how to um um what to focus. If you want to know more about that, I'll do a video concerning that much much later. But right now, just put that on, and that helps you to have a better picture. So totally on that phone settings, the next step is going to be front mirror or mirror front. Okay, it's with a mirror front camera over here. So what this helps is also your thumbnail. When you use your front, your mirror front camera, it helps you to when you take your selfie, it doesn't flip. Normally when you take your selfie or when you're looking at it in your picture, it flips from the other way around. And that can be pretty much very annoying for your thumbnail. So what you do is put that on. So when you're taking your pictures and when you see it, it's exactly the same thing you took by your scene on your phone. That makes sense, right? So fourthly, on your phone settings, Go to camera, okay, go to your settings first. You know, you're going to your settings already, guys. So go to your settings first, go to camera. Then when you go to camera, the first thing you're going to see, you're going to see format. So when you open your format, when you open your format, you're going to see either most compatible or high efficiency. For your phone that's already on 4K at 60 FPS, you're going to automatically see it on high efficiency. But if it's on the normal default of 1080 FPS or HD, it's going to be your most compatible so i would advise you like the good person that i am to put it on most compatible it's happy to reduce the use of your storage rather than putting it on high efficiency you can film a 30 seconds video and high efficiency can put it on 500 mb used or almost one gig used and that's crazy right if you're using 64 gig that's a no-no for you if you're using 128 gig that's a manageable one for you when you're using 6 gig that still makes sense but that's not the best option if you ask me but if that's what you want to do 
you are allowed that's fine i prefer it to also but like i said we have to reduce storage so we can work produce anytime we want to produce a video so guys what about the second point which is tripod or tripod for vlogging then with them i need to take cold water because that's a very very important step guys you don't want to do the tips you know, nobody wants to watch a video that's shaky nobody wants to watch a video that is not well um placed or is not in the right frame or it's bent or it's slant nobody wants to watch that so i'm going to show you guys three kinds of tripod first thing i will show you is this vlogging tripod you might not put too much old right here but this has lasted me a lifetime i'm never doing this over two years i'm using the camera stand over here to vlog right now because i lost the one i initially used put your camera stand right here you don't come with it normally just put it in your phone now let me show you how you can make to with it this is me showing you how you can make use of your vlogging camera so automatically it comes like this like this so you can vlog like this and you can use your front camera like this so it's very much easy and it's very very efficient you can take it to vlog you can take it out you can just put on your table and just do a random get ready with me so guys i forgot to mention that this can easily stand on the table like anywhere you want to put it, it can stand on a chair you can stand on anything that has like a very balanced um surface that is very easy there are different kinds of tripod like this there are many ones like this, this one just to adjust it so you can stand as much as you want to stay or balance as much as you want it to balance so that's it for this vlogging tripod up next under the tripod this one is a selfie stick and can also be used to vlog so you can why these things are here is just to help you to um get more frame or background so like covers or shoes of more background so you don't have to be like up close like this so on like this one this one you can take it as far as you want it to be and it covers like just like with the amount of background if you're going to do like an outdoor vlog this is like your best friend you get me so let's go to the next one the last but not the least is this big baby right here under the tripod this one is the longer one that can stand that's what i'm using to film right here now this one can stand see how long it is guys it can easily stand just set it off and put your camera right here and voila you're good to go this one just helps you to um just help you stabilizing it so you don't have to start checking if it's bent and i feel like this one is more stable than the rest of those ones that i showed you guys earlier but what i say earlier i said you can make do with what you have that is for the tripod or the tripod for vlogging and let's move to our next point lightning because lightning is so very important rather than me showing you how it looks like let me just show you random videos of how i use my natural light to vlog and it comes out really well most of the time when i vlog i don't really use ring light to vlog i just use my natural light and it comes out very very well guys yeah. okay, so i don't know if i about cleaning your lens please let's just go back to clean your lens this is the next point clean your lens guys i can never over emphasize on how important it is for you to clean your lens trust me your fingertips has drop like different imprint um, on your lens so it's very important for you to clean your lens use a very clear view i can't even show you guys what i'm saying cleaning really not cleaning your lens because guys me zini will never film a video without cleaning my lens so guys let me go to the next step right now which is your audio guys audio can never be first of exercise guys in as much as recording with a very bright camera with a very light good lighting is important 50% of that goes to your lightning, 50% of that goes to your audio because if your audio is cracking and it's not clear or there are noise in the background, sometimes you can't avoid it, but make sure your audio is very sound. Okay, luckily, for we iPhone users, it's very easy. Even with Android users, phones that are out now are phones that have very, very, very good sound system. But now, I'm very sure you guys can hear me very well. You can, can you have it with my voices? You can sure here that there's no background noise all, all over i'm feeling filming this video right now by 2 p.m not an excuse if you are staying in a very noisy place people sleep at night guys nobody's a witch there's <laughs> always a way nothing is impossible there's always a way to make it work there's always a loophole that you can find to make it work for you so if you're in an area that is very noisy or where you can you can't even avoid it there's always noise in the daytime definitely there will not be noise at night guys so you can just find that time to film then but if you can get a microphone that is the best thing trust me i'm not even going to lie here microphone is very important it just gives a very much difference to what your iphone can give you what your android can give you and what your 
microphone we give you guys so guys when i spoke about cleaning your lens and how important it is i forgot to mention that when you put the phone on camera we all know that um youtube video comes in landscape for what i mean landscape i mean your camera has to be like this so guys last but not the least let's be me talking about the importance of having a remote guys this thing right here this thing right here is like a lifesaver you can take your pictures with this by yourself make your videos with this by yourself i don't have to stand up and start doing like this like this like just to make sure my phone or my camera is like recording just this just tap like this and it's done i have this one like there are different kinds of remote right here and luckily the tripod i'm using came with a remote but if you're not lucky to have a tripod that um comes remote like this you can just purchase this it's very very affordable like a one five or three thousand why well, i said i got this for three thousand dollars because I have one, I have extra, I have one that came in my track, but I have one that I got separately and it's affordable if you ask me, like I said, I'm the queen of affordable stuff so when I say she gets affordable things, when I say this is affordable, she knows that this is actually affordable so this helps in taking your thumbnail, like I mentioned earlier, taking your video, it helps you to increase your volume and reduce your volume it does like very very good, it's just very very handy and just help you to not get tired when you are filming, so you don't have to start turning and owning and offering so guys i think that makes sense if you ask me i think with this few points i've given you guys it is very helpful on how to start your youtube channel with your mobile phone either your iphone or your android you don't have to break the bank because you will start your channel because trust me you're not going to get monetized immediately you're not going to get money off youtube immediately so you can't spend all your savings i think i've tried um to explain basically and beginner friendly on how you can make do with your mobile phone and create your youtube videos so if you watch up to this moment i'm very sure you learned 18 or 2 be sure to subscribe if you're yet to subscribe because i will drop you more youtube tips on this channel and also tell me down below in the comment section if you like this video or what you like about the video what you like or what you want me to do next and i'm sure drop the video so babes that is for this video hope you guys enjoyed this video don't forget to check out other youtube tips that are filmed on this channel and i will show catch you guys in my next video bye babes mm -hmm. everything that happens is motivated